it's a binge compilation. Okay, bye. Okay, who designed this sign? Why isn't it in the center? This is bugging me! I feel like it was put in for four kids only. I'm pretty sure it was just a rock wall. Calling characters with an unknown last name, the name of the thing they're from, like Sans Undertale, is very funny, but I think it's funnier when people do it with a character whose last name is very much known. For example, <clears throat> Jesus Bible. PLEASE! Naughty potatoes get placed in the nuclear merry-go-round for war crimes. Let, let him out, please. The best analogy for bisexuals I've ever heard. Werewolf. I am a werewolf. Person. Okay, so when you're in human form, you're human, and then you're in wolf form, you're a wolf, though. No, no, no. I'm a werewolf. Human form, werewolf. Wolf form, werewolf. Always a werewolf. No matter the circumstance or appearance, I am always a werewolf. Fact, bisexuals are also werewolves. One time I dreamt there was a limited amount of gender available in the world. You can only obtain some by either having given it or killing the person who already had it. Assassins were notorious for their large amount of genders and would double as traitors. Oh, that explains why conservatives say there are only two. They're hiding the rest. Do you know what pisses me off? A lot of things, where do I start? Be so completely yourself that everyone else feels safe to be themselves too. I can't think of much that I aspire to be more than this. Mowing through an entire box of Pocky feeling like a pencil sharpener being fed whole pencils by a third grader. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Slut or not, you're all slut shaming a guy that's dead. Show some respect. This was a post about Julius Caesar. DM says, so, you realize it's a giant rattlesnake. Bigger than our fighter. Me, a Medusa with snakes for hair. I roll to befriend it! Oh, oh no. Uh, okay, okay, what's your charisma? Plus five, let's go! Rolls a nat 20. Welp. Everyone add 12 points to your XP. Crisis averted. You now have a giant snake for a friend. That is the best outcome. Hey. Why is everything blue? Could you perhaps elaborate? No, everything's blue. I see no need for elaboration. Yo, listen up. Writing prompt. Fae gained power over someone by having their name. The most powerful of Fae wouldn't be kings or queens, but coffee shop baristas. Wait. Wait, hold on. Hold. Did I... Did I miss a glorious opportunity with Baris? <laughs> Game Freak. Game Freak. Look at me. Are you telling me that every Pokemon canonically has a scientific name and you refused to tell us what it is for every single Pokemon except goddamn Oddish? And how the hell does it walk around nearly a thousand feet at night with two roots? As many steps. Yo vibes, my lord. Hmm, check them for me, court jester. Oh no! My ribcage split open, revealing a grotesque vertical maw slavering and bleeding with uneven rows of jagged and splintered ribs for teeth. And promise tomorrow! Rules of fashion. One, do you think it's pretty? Two, wear it. Okay, but I don't know how I'm gonna wear you. Oh, you smooth fucker. You obviously haven't read Silence of the Lambs. No, I don't have a dream job. I want to spend my days reading and writing and lazing in the afternoon sun. I want to bake bread and brownies and apple crumble. I want to grow my own vegetables and plant a rainbow of flowers. I want to be with nature. I want to be at peace. That sounds nice. So, this happened to me today. Fucked up, some bird tried to steal your car like that. Look at it. You fucking dick. Have you considered the sun? No. It, it's it's shiny, though. No, thanks. Good move. I hear it's deadly. Laser-like, even. <sighs> Only those that breathe unholy water cannot survive the sun's great light. Praise the sun. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Disney World needs to make a roller coaster based off the ride Yzma and Kronk take to the lair. When the ride starts, Yzma voice yells, Pull the lever, Kronk! And then the ride starts to move backwards, so she yells, Wrong! 
and it shoots you forward. Why is this not happening? Filled with a deep animosity towards humankind and indifference towards my friends and loved ones and values because I'm awake past 2 a.m. The TV is on too loud in the other room and I have lost the capacity to love. Good morning, I'm no longer evil. Little do my friends know that when I send them funny posts, I'm also telling them I love them and giving them a kiss on the cheek. But don't tell them no. Especially don't tell Andy. I knew it! <laughs> Like, sometimes cats don't actually know what specifically they want. They're just generally dissatisfied, so they stand there yelling, I yearn! On the off chance that you'll be able to do something about it. A post flopping is the worst thing that can ever happen to a tumblerina. A post taking off is also the worst thing that can ever happen to a tumblerina. It looks like posting is the worst thing that could happen to a tumblerina. So just don't post. What do you mean the divine right of kings is fake? Louis the 14th is in my inbox, guys. If this kid comes back in like 20 years dressed as a massive buff Gyarados, I'll eat my shirt. Can someone please find if there's an aftermath photo so Pokemon Perfect can eat their shirt? Hey, Pucky, where's the unfollow button on mobile? Not telling. <clears throat> Mail order digital games. Hell no. Stop. Why? Just buy the game normally. Person says, she, me, it's he. Well, on your birth certificate. Yeah, it also says eight pounds and six ounces. A lot has changed over the years. The Chinese Lunar Exploration Team identified a mysterious hut on the horizon of the moon. That is Siata's house, so leave her alone. Your mom finding your friend at a store is like unskippable cutscenes. Okay, but the fucking worst is that as I get older, I completely understand the interest to catch up an unreasonable long time because turns out adults just don't get enough time to hang out with friends. So, catch up next to the Aldi cheese aisle it is. A few months back, I took my brother to the Sydney Aquarium. This was the only picture I took. Mm, moisturize me. I would rather not! <laughs> okay. All right. Sasuke, but from New York. Shh. I'm walking here, loser. Hey, bada bing! Bada boom! Forget about it! Hey, I'm walking here! Ah. Natural habitat. You've heard of alphabet soup, now get ready for Time's New Ramen. I sent this to my mom and she got so mad at me, she sent me an audio recording of her yelling. Good job. Most private thing I'm willing to admit, I'm not good at estimating how much pasta is enough for one person. Well, there's a tool for that. Uh, I'm sorry, does that scale progress from a child to a horse? It's really sad that I keep making servings in horse. Street witch. Spray paint and sigils, hanging with friends outside, burning incense while smoking, enchanting and charging regular stuff found on the streets to do what you want, clubbing while wearing makeup as glamours, and burning enchanted music mixes for friends. That sounds badass. I'm sick of magical worlds with no technology. Want fairy run coffee shops where you can get a latte with a shot of charisma because you got a big presentation you're worried about. Or witches working at Apple selling phones that automatically appear in your pocket if you accidentally leave it somewhere. Or psychics running hair salons who actually know how you want your hair to look. Or aura reader therapists. I just really want normalized magic in modern society. Writing this down. Write that down, write that down! Vampire due to his vampire friend. But, but what was that word, Patrick? <clears throat> vampire due to his vampire friend. Wow, looks like there's only one coffin. What do we do? Other vampire dude who reads a lot of fan fiction. If we could <laughs> share it. And they were two mates. Oh my God, they were two mates. Years ago, my sister told me about how she used to play online survival games like Rust or something, etc., with her friends. And she'd go into voice chat with this over the top girly voice like, um, hey, I don't, like, play video games much, and I really don't know what's going on. <laughs> Can anyone, like, please come help me? I'm so confused. And then when some guy showed up, all of her friends would swarm and kill. Ah, yes. A siren. Behold, Krabby, or known as in Japan, Krabu. From crab. Crab is literally crab. Origin? It is based on a crab. <sighs> Thank you. I don't understand people who can sleep without any light in a room. Like, is your imagination that bad that you can't help but think of the constant horrors lurking in the darkness anytime you see pure void? Or are you just a fucking hard ass? 
Wow, okay. The cat boys I signed for my all cat boy baseball team don't know what baseball is, and they're actively loud sobbing whenever they miss a swing, and whenever they dive to catch a ball, it bonks them on the head, and they go, wee, and our pitcher closes his eyes whenever he throws because he's scared, and we're beating every other team in the league. <laughs> I need to see this in FF14 now. New Urban Fantasy Theory. Walmart hires vampires. This explains why it's open 24 hours a day, why working there is often described as soul-sucking, and why there's almost always no windows. Most damningly, Walmart is one of the few stores that specifically hires a greeter with no other job than to welcome every person into the store. Because vampires have to be invited in. Wake the fuck up, America! You also notice that they don't sell many garlic products there? Hey, I may be a loser. But at least I'm not lactose intolerant. I'm going to rip the bill off of every hat you have! Definitely a threat, but what does that mean? I... I can't have been the only one to not realize Hayao Miyazaki and Hidetaka Miyazaki are, in fact, different people. Oh, holy shit, <clears throat> Ah. It's so funny when I hear the phrase, no thoughts, head empty. It's because, like, lol, can't relate. Mostly because of my ADHD. I have literally never known a moment of peace. My thoughts are always whirling by and I have a constant monologue in my head or dialogue if I'm daydreaming. There's always something for me to think about. Sometimes it can be tiring, but in a way it's nice. My thoughts keep me company. Too many thoughts. Head full. So I was applying for Australian citizenship and the interviewer asked, do you have a criminal record? And I said, no, is that still required? Oh. My God. Jeff, I swear! I want to write something so good, people stay up till three in the morning writing theories and headcanons about it. Argent, I'm sorry. Pucky, a notification for your post woke me up at night. I never turned on notifications for you. Yeah, don't worry, I did that for you. Okay, but give me one good reason why you wouldn't date Kermit the Frog, besides that he is a puppet and a frog. I can't beat Miss Piggy in a fight. She's very strong and does karate. You know what? It's a very good point. <laughs> Archery's just dabbing before you murder somebody. I... Did... Okay! I'm so mad some crypto mining warehouse got doxxed and it's only like four hour drive away. If I only had a car... Pilgrimage. I'm talking about criminal activity. Ah! Crusade. What am I smiling at? <laughs> the made-up scenarios, of course. <laughs> Self-love is imagining how lovely life will be when I'm in my little cottage on a great big plot of land with gardens upon gardens, fresh bread in the oven, pie on the windowsill, and a cat pressing its sweet little head against my legs as we go about our day. Stop! Having amazing dreams, please. It's killing me. I want it. If I ever respond to you with just a heart emoji, it's not meant to be dismissive. I'm bumping my shoulder against yours because I like you. I'm blinking slowly at you like a cat. I'm not actually mad. I just like the comedic delivery of righteous but pointless anger. Y you guys get me, right? Must suck ass to be like a lawyer or something in Pokemon World. They haven't made any cool lawyer Pokemon yet. Uh, hello. I think we have a different definition of lawyers, but sure. Well, why wouldn't ho oh be a lawyer? They're a phoenix, right? In the kindest way possible. Fuck you. By the way, I think Anon Ass should have a return to sender option, where you can reply privately with your own message, and the person who sent the Anon can publish it, but only if they're willing to admit they sent you the Anon. <sighs> Tumblr 1v1 cage match, let's go! I love how Tumblr is reverse chronological order, so when your mutual starts having a Blorbo breakdown overnight, you get to start with the insane conclusion and work your way back to where they first went off the rails. It's great! It is human nature to weave strings of yarn, threads, or fibers together to make a cloth and textile. Humans will see a soft cellulose plant material or downy animal coat and say, hey, is anyone gonna twist that? Staple fiber in order to make a cohesive thread and then not wait for an answer. Me is learning macrame, the Paleolithic archaic human that lives on my brainstem. Oh, yes, fuck, yes, that's it, that's it, baby, shit, yes, yeah! Starline wishes he had what Agent Stone has. 
Dr. Eggman's phone number. NASA, in your orbit. Well, I fucking hope so. Self-care is breaking into NASA and launching yourself directly into the fucking void. May we suggest a soothing bath instead? I gotta agree with NASA here. Please don't. What the fuck is Morbius even about? Morbius. 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 Morbid time. This is why we're getting a sequel, guys. You guys don't understand that the algorithm does not give a shit that you guys are talking about the show sarcastically. The only cares that just you're saying Morbius or Morbid Time. It's gonna give you a- it's giving you a second one! What have you done?! I always giggle at job titles given to certain employees. Like, when I used to work at KFC Taco Bell restaurant, my job was to cook the KFC side of things. But my official title was, on paper, Chicken Champion. I'm so blind I kept reading titles as titties. Finally, safe for work titties. Isn't that your thing though, Pam? <laughs> Listen here, you little shit! Hi. So apparently I just picked up an $8,000 organ off of the curb. The few seconds before I realized you meant the instrument were terrifying. Jugglers are the worst. I've never met a juggler who doesn't tell me about their juggling three sentences into our conversation. Have you... have you ever met a juggler? Trust me, they let you know. Yeah, it's so annoying. Like, I juggle in my free time, yet I don't mention it every three words. You just did! Rereading my own writing is just a constant fluctuation between Damn, girl, you wrote this? And damn, girl, you wrote this? I'm such a fan of calling two guys trying to kill each other their divorce arc. Ah, Stanley and the narrator. Call me Super Mario the way I'd be laying down pipe it wasn't for all these turtles attacking me. 80 Shredder in the retirement home flirting with Krang. Normalize posting bad art. Normalize knowing your art isn't up to your standards but putting it out there anyway. Not everything has to be perfect. Seeing someone improve is really cool. Go ahead, post that drawing you hate. Boost someone's bad doodles. Encourage people to draw more instead of making them feel less worthy because their art isn't always perfect. I mean, it's never stopped Butch Hartman. The most embarrassing thing in my life is whenever I see people and they ask what I've been up to. Literally nothing ever. I'm like, oh, you know, this, that, usual. Other sentences people say when they have nothing else going on in their lives. <laughs> hey, I love the uh, blood dripping from your face and the animal rage in your eyes. So, um, what's your pronouns? I have a bad habit of calling things loathsome if they mildly inconvenience me. Which usually isn't that bad, but today I spilled my drink and said, some juice, under my breath without realizing that's not a normal thing to say. Everyone started laughing. some juice. Okay, not to get serious about a meme, but Morbius should have been a comedy. The idea of vampirism being the only way to cure a chronic illness is extremely funny. Imagine being in a support group with this goth guy and one day he's like, um, hi guys, uh, I'm not going to be able to come to the meetings anymore. And you're like, oh, why not Morbius? And he, sorry, I, ju I just can't finish this. I wrote the word Morbius one too many times and I started laughing too hard to continue. <laughs> I don't like the implication that his name was Morbius before he became a vampire. Oh, my sweet summer child. I hate to tell you this, but his legal name in the movie is Dr. Michael Morbius. Proof that most of the people memeing on Morbius haven't actually seen the movie. Hmm. I don't think we as a fandom talk enough about how John was kidnapped and aggressively moisturized by a clown for like a month. The fuck's been happening in Garfield comics? Me listening to my own playlist. Oh my god, that's crazy. I love this song. I love pitting classically trained magic users against self-taught magic users in sci-fi and fantasy. But it shouldn't be snobbish disdain for them. It should be terror. Who taught you lightning before basic telekinesis? I'm losing my mind. What do you mean you just did it? What do you mean you cast with your bare hands? Hey, <laughs> Jedi lightning go burr. In the canon of action movies, do you think the protagonist comes up with one-liners on the spot and rides the high of doing that for like a week? Or do they come up with it like a year beforehand, remember it, and then get so excited when a villain shows up so they can use it? The protagonist and the villain plan their epic speeches together the night before everything goes to shit so they both look badass. Ah, you, 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 you get it. I cast spell that makes you get out of the bed too fast and get dizzy. Pocky show, that's just iron deficiency. 
I cast spell to give you iron deficiency. I love the trope where an authoritative side character pointingly pretends not to help the hero they're supposed to be helping by saying shit like, well, I can't let you just wander up to the third floor where you could just find the thing you need in the first room on the left and under no circumstances should you use the key from under the mat. I wish I could help you, but I can't. Now, excuse me, I need to take this phone call for the next 37 minutes exactly. Ah, my favorite shit. Yes, I am full of love, but also insurmountable rage! Oh shit, he 